In late November, when this mini boat was launched off the coast of Hachinoe, Japan, seventh grade students at Yace Middle School celebrated. That's because they built that boat. It was really cool, like seeing it float away. There he is. This is all part of the Columbia River Maritime Museum's mini boat program. Each class in the United States gets two boats. One they build for their partners in Japan, and the other they build for launching in North America. It's going to be cool to see where it goes exactly. The hope is that this mini boat will travel across the Pacific Ocean, but no matter where this mini boat ends up, its journey will be a successful one. Of course, the goal is to get the boats to cross the ocean, um, but that hasn't happened yet, and that's not discouraging. When you empower students that way, um, you know, that's our goal is to just to make them feel valuable and know that, hey, they can do anything. And on this mini boat project, the students do everything. They build, design, paint, and equip two mini boats with GPS trackers. I was in the keel department, which is a very important, I mean, a very important department where you have to, the boat has to like stay balanced and we didn't want to screw anything up. Even the decision on where and how to launch the boat is left up to the students. The group that was deciding where we were going to put the boat in the water said we'd like to have a Coast Guard gutter, a cutter put the uh, put our mini boat in the water in Astoria and they had to look at currents and patterns and to, to determine um, would this get picked up by the wind or will it get pushed back to shore. Thanks to the GPS tracker, the students will be able to see exactly where their boat is in the Pacific Ocean and compare it to the other 23 boats that have been launched since the program began three years ago. But it's what happened nine years ago that inspired this program. In 2011, a tsunami ravaged the east coast of Japan. That included the fishing town of Hachinoa. Eventually, two years later, debris from Hachinoa washed up on our coasts. One of those was a, a kasagi, which is a top part of a Tory gate, as well as a fishing boat um, that washed up in Long Beach, Washington. Uh, the fishing boat was brought to the Columbia River Maritime Museum, where it's still on display today. Uh, the kasagi was actually returned back to its original place in Hachinohe, Japan, and that is the community that we go. <laughs> Weiss Middle School is partnered with a sister school in Japan. They were given the opportunity to learn about this tragedy, but then also feel like I'm communicating with some people who had relatives and, and family and, and businesses that were forever affected by the tragedy. That communication includes an exchange of pictures, video, and gifts. I was a person who would like take videos of people and then they would post it on like Facebook so um, I thought that was a cool part. January 21st is a big day as 96th YE 7th graders will travel to Astoria for the big launch of their second boat. But this experience will be one that students can be proud of for a very long time to come. Say hey look at this video online or this news article or something else. I was part of that. I built that boat. I connected with these students in Japan. Off to the United States. Once again the Y E students will launch their second mini boat on January 21st in Astoria. We promise we'll bring you updates. For EPS Inspires, I'm Craig Burnback.